All right, guys, welcome Eight. to episode 77 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got Jay over Sheesh. here, got fucking Remy over there. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, like, and sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And yeah, man, don't forget, roll your J, roll your blunt, pack your bomb, pack your ball, and get the fucking lighting, man. We're yeah, back with a fucking man. metal one, all right? Hey. We're back, hey. motherfuckers. Hey. Let's get go. it. What's yeah, let's get into guys? that shit. Yo, How y'all yo. feeling today, boys? How we feeling? How we feeling? How we feeling? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking lit myself, man, but you know mm. what I'm saying? We got some good energy in the room. Got some good energy in the building. You know what I'm saying? Vibes. We're vibing. We're lit. It's, you know, a couple brews on the table. It's a vibe, man. It's a fucking vibe. It's a vibe. It's a fucking vibe. You know what I mean? We got fucking Remy over here chilling with us. And uh, yeah, we're yeah, y'all good. go ahead and follow Remy on Instagram too, man. Dope talk, Dope talk Remy. Remy. He's on there, man. He be fucking macking too. He's just chilling most of the time. He don't talk. If he could, he would. But, <laughs> but if he could, he'd introduce himself. He's not yeah. that much of a piece he, of shit. Yeah, he's like yeah. he don't talk, but you know, if he could, if he could, he would. He, he would. would. He would be talking right now, like, "Hey, what's going on, you he's sons of bitches?" Animals. He'd sound like fucking uh, Danny DeVito. DeVito, DeVito. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but nah, man. <laughs> something that we were talking about earlier, bro. Something that uh, that Jay brought up that's fucking true, bro. And him being ha- having been married for twelve years, he could attest to this. Is you got to keep it fucking spicy in the bedroom. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? When you get with somebody and you spend a certain amount of time with them, things get routine. You know it what I'm does. saying? I'm not gonna say old because you can't call a woman old. Missionary, but things gets get old. routine. <laughs> Facts though Things, Yeah that is true Nah facts Like shit You gotta spice it up In the bedroom bro You know, you know what I'm man saying? I'll give you this advice Go out and get yourself A Kama Sutra book You know what I'm saying Learn some new positions Keep it spicy Let it put a finger In your booty I'm just saying I'm just I don't like it but Kanye likes it Yeah He said it <clears throat> That's so true That's like, you dog, just You gotta keep it spicy Motherfuckers Cause if Kanye, not man. You're gonna lose Your fucking chick bro <laughs> yeah, Real you're talk like, like, <laughs> like that's where we're coming That's the main topic Yeah here. nah like, It's important man You gotta take care Of your chick And you gotta listen bro She's saying she's unhappy With something You know what I'm saying And vice versa If yep. your partner is saying They're unhappy with something And they wanna try something else Try it Because if it's not true. They're gonna try it you know it's what I'm saying? True. someone else. With, it's true. Or without you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, facts. You know what the thing is, bro? Even a study shows that even if you're in a relationship, watching porn and jerking off is bad. Because what happens is your sperm count starts to go down and your sexual drive starts to yeah, go down. Yeah, your sexual drive. And not just and that, bro. And you start getting soft halfway. It, it's not just that, bro. Like, it, it creates a, a realistic expectation yeah. of fucking sex. Because you're looking at porn like, damn, this bitch is bad, this, that. Like four and it's like the reality man. of it, bro, in real life is no. most girls don't look like that. And Damn. most men don't look like and that. That's and not that's happened. not There's the not reality going in of fucking normal. sex. Yeah, like oh, I don't know. Porn is not normal I mean, sex, guys. Don't don't get on these yeah, fucking if sites. You got a if you don't got a relationship, baby, that's all you. You do whatever the fuck you got to do to get by. I don't I know if y'all you. seen. Nah, I, nah, yeah, I don't. Nah. I don't know if y'all seen I, at the last episode. I was looking like that. Yeah, my dog was looking like what? I was I'm naked. confused. Oh yeah, he was naked. That's cool though. He's always walking around naked, and I don't yeah, mind. Bro, he's a nudist. He's a nudist. He's a nudist. We just can't put it on YouTube. Yeah, we you know? can't put it on. Maybe YouTube. on Patreon one day. You Maybe might he's get gonna to get an OnlyFans. Yeah, there you go. It's shaved. I'm kind of nervous, man. Because I wonder what? what people are gonna say. You know, they're gonna say that you got nice well, legs, yeah, right. probably. Guess, I don't yeah, know if I got nice tits. Got strong legs and mm, fucking strong legs. Nice and tits. firm nipples. Mm, you know what mm. mean? Oh, that one made my mouth water. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy. She liked the way that I rock. Oh. She liked the way that I move. Ooh. Put on that drill real quick. Hey. I just want to move. I'm going to go hover these people. I'm going to go. Yeah. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, she hey. like the way that I rock. rock. She like the way that I move. Oh. I'm going to go smoke me a blunt. Yeah. Hang with the fucking in the crew. Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah, that, that's, enough. That. That's, that's enough. All I that's to enough. Do. That's yeah. enough. Yeah. He needed to get a out round of applause system. to you for having yeah. the fucking courage. The that was better than last week. Just way spit better. that shitty way ass better. fucking rhyme. <laughs> All right. I just had to do that because yeah, last week I was I was trash. I'm sorry. Yeah, nah, I'm fa- <laughs> nah. You know what's trash to me is well, how open minded people are getting nowadays. Like it's okay to be open minded mm-hmm. to a certain extent, but now people are taking it too far. Like this fucking dad that's dating his son. What in the absolute motherfuck is going on, that. bro? That shit is fucked up. 
I'm I don't know what I, how I feel about Listen, that. Listen, man, shit. as far you as you loving, you loving another man being a man. That's on that's you. not that's not but our business. Incest? But incest, bro, like what are we like? Where are we heading with this yeah, fucking sexuality baby. shit? It started with the fucking okay. It's okay to be with another same sex person. That's cool. Now it's, it's okay like, to oh, change your son. sex. That's cool. That's cool. It's okay to change your sex. That's cool. But now it's okay to date your kids. That's not that's cool. cool. And what's gonna be yeah. next? It's okay to date the fucking think, family dog. I, I honestly huh? think no. like no, what the fuck? No, I don't. <clears throat> I honestly think that it's always been around, but ever since we got like actual like technology to record it, now it's kind of like it's I don't becoming, think it's always been around. Bro. I think that shit's always been around. I think it, it to Low a certain key. extent, man. What, but it's incest? A, I mean, yeah, yeah. incest has been around, yeah. but it's like, nigga, come yeah. on, bro. No, nah, like, it's been around. It's been around, and, it, and now that but now that we got to normalize everything, like, yeah. with fucking kids and their parents, though? yeah, bro. Yeah. Yo, it's like, like I've heard a co- version, I've heard a like Harold and Kumar. I've heard of cousins and shit fucking around. Well, what are you going to of that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But like, yeah. when it comes down to like, nigga, your mom. Nah, hell you no. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. None of, no on, family bro. member, really. That's, that's just saying. disgusting. Like, but at the end of the day, if you're going to do it, bro, be, that's cool. But think about how many men there are out there, bro. You have to go and be a predator to your son. Your fucking kid. Your man. kid doesn't, like, come on, man. And like, the, what makes me think of that is like, they're already grown, right? The dad's like 50 something. Yeah, he's And like then the son's the like 20 like something. something yeah. But it's like, when did this start? Yeah, when did the dad get sexually attracted yeah, to his exactly. son? Yeah, exactly. Like, when did this piece start? Shit. Like, <laughs> I don't I'm know. I'm not okay with that. Like, people trying to normalize pedophilia. Like, yeah, that cutest exactly. movie on Netflix, they're trying to normalize that. And this dude released this video on YouTube, and he's like, oh, it's total a shit ton of dislikes. But I'm going to tell you a little bit so, to spare you from watching the video. It was pretty much a grown ass man my age, pretty much saying that, oh, no man can deny that I watched the movie and I was turned on. I'm not going to lie. Why would I sit here and lie? I was turned on. I'm like, if you're turned on by a group of fucking 10, 11 year olds, 12 year olds, my daughter's fucking 13, then you're a piece of shit. There's something wrong with you. That's not mentally okay. You're not supposed to look at a child and be aroused by a fucking child. Like what kind of, that's a mental condition, bro. Yeah, Yeah, that's not right. That's not right. That's a chemical imbalance or something. That's something. No, but but that should be illegal. That should be illegal. No, it is illegal. It is illegal. But the thing is, they are trying to to lower the age in a lot of places, not just in America, around the world, bro. And around the world, they're trying to lower the age of consent to like 14 or like 15. It's like, nigga, that's still a little girl. That's a girl. That's a little girl. Doesn't that video like have enough proof right there for them to just to get arrested like like that's, that's what so you would weird. think but that's they, what we're nigga, talking first about of all, they're normalizing they're fucking, everything and they're adults like yeah. you can't tell somebody not to they, they can't and he has legally to date their parent but it's like you're gonna look at them like nigga you're you're dating your dad that's like, fucking disgusting. Like, do you I have can't friends? tell you. I can't legally do nothing about it. But it's like, nigga, come on, bro. Nobody in like, your life was like, hey, Tom, listen, bud. Hey, I care about you, Tom. I'm sorry, bro. We I just want to tell friends. you that, that I'll be like, you know, I just think it's kind of fucked up that you and Joshua, you know, the whole sex <laughs> thing. Look, Tom, I've known you. How long we've we been buddies? Yeah, facts. But sticking your dick in your son's ass is just not okay, it's not Tom. Cool, bro. Listen, yeah, Steve. Facts. You That's can't not do that. Cool. You this can is not go the do 80s. it to whatever else you want. This is not the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> That's old enough. That's old enough and consent. He said this is in the eighties, the prime of coke. <laughs> this isn't when you could just fucking snort three lines and take a quaalude and just fucking do what you do. What the Ricky? fuck is a quaalude? You're too young. Let's, we're not even gonna get into it. They don't even Let's exist. just say they're not even fucking Maine no more. Oh. <laughs> they, were the, they were the perkies of yeah, back they were in the like day. the perks of the the fucking Zannies. back. Yeah, back in the day. Damn. But nah, man, some crazy shit, man. Some crazy shit that happened not too long ago. Where was it at? Mm. Uh, in Texas, the guy that fucking oh killed yeah, his Friday, daughter. bro. Friday, this fucking. Dirt bag, bro, because there's no other fucking yeah, word to bro. use it but a fucking dirt bag. 35 years old. This 35 year old piece of shit ends up shooting his own daughter, six year old little girl, dead because she clogged the toilet and the water overflowed. That's fucking crazy. Let me tell you what, man. Some people That's right, insane are to me, pieces bro. of shit, but I'll tell you Literally. what. You know what it is, bro? This pandemic, right? And there's never a reason, but I'm going to tell you there's what. There's no excuse for Since that Since this shit, pandemic that happened, the, the fucking cases of child abuse and this kind of shit has gone up. 
Uh, domestic, domestic violence, violence has gone went up. up. Child abuse because went up. Because people are not used to... People were used to sending their kid to school all day, them going to work. They weren't used to spending this much fucking time with their yeah, kid. Yeah, you're not really raising your kid. And At now they're like, the I hate my kid for real. Like, I know him now. <laughs> I don't like... I don't fucking like him. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, it's fucked up, <laughs> But man, that's just but crazy. That situation no. alone, yeah, bro... Bad. Rest in, peace, rest in peace to the little girl, you know, and our condolences go out yeah, to their families, man. That shit is not cool, bro. As a parent, listen, man, I don't have a kid, but I, you know, I can imagine how somebody could lose their cool at a certain point with their child. Mm -hmm. But to do that shit, nigga, Bruh. like an ass whooping is one thing. You know what I'm saying? But like to shoot your fucking multiple times too, multiple times. Come on, man. And nah, the fact is, bro, like, y'all have come into my house and y'all have spilled things on my carpet, right? Facts. What's the first thing I tell you? I said, bro, I don't worry about it. When you got kids, this shit happens all the time. Facts. Yeah. That's what it is. When you have a six-year-old and they do that, my son, they want to talk of something? This dude's a piece of shit, and I'll tell you why. My son clogged the toilet one time at my mother-in-law's house, and we were downstairs, bro, in the living room. All of a sudden, the light in the kitchen goes, pa! And, oh, and, my And then water starts coming God. through the light. And I'm like, where are the kids? And everybody's like, upstairs. We go running upstairs, and they filled the whole toilet. It was flooded all the way out, and it leaked through the ceiling down into the kitchen, and fucking the electric went out because oh of it. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what we all did, bro? That's what we did. We laughed our ass off. Because what could you do at that point? Because we're like, the damage is done. You're a kid, yeah. Bro. What are you gonna What are you gonna do at that they point? They were like three. They really just didn't understand what the fuck they're doing. Imagine a, a brain three years. They don't fucking get it. Yeah, you don't have the brain development on understand what's really fucking they're going curious. on they're curious okay this paper we're gonna fucking throw if he's 15 uh, then i'm gonna whoop his yeah, ass yeah if he's 15 no, I'm, I'm gonna fuck you we're up. fighting you're paying for it too you're, bitch i know how big i was at 15 <laughs> bitch we're fighting yeah, for real. real nah but but to kill a child over some stupid ass shit yeah, if no. you're a parent and you sign up for that job man yeah maybe you're not always gonna have patience because in the beginning i didn't really have the patience but you grow and you understand yeah, that you, you can't grow, beat the man. shit out of your kid. Because what if you do? If, what do you do when your kid's one of those? Because it's just like you can beat him up, but you don't give a fuck. No, nah, you can't do kill that. Him? At a certain point, nigga, you can't even put you your know? hands on him. Don't exactly. Do yeah. Once you know your team, that's why you got to build that respect bond since they're little. Yep. So then they grow with that respect, being able to talk to you, being able to talk if they're angry at you. My son took my son's eleven. He talks to me when he's upset. If I do something that upset him, he'll straight up be like, you know, when you said this and when you did this, it upset me. And I, that's cool. He's allowed to be upset. I can't tell my kid you can't be upset. Yeah, but you got like to explain were a kid. it to him. Yeah, when you were a kid, you'd be like, oh, you want to cry? I'll give you a fucking reason to cry. Yeah, fact. And you're just like, damn, I'm fucking hurt. Like, you just fucking made me. And then I start yeah, crying. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. deserve my feelings, bitch. Yeah. Fuck you. And now you're threatening me again. Again, you know? And it's like, that yeah. shit, now as I'm an adult, I'm like, Yo, that's just not fucking healthy. You can't do that to a little kid. A kid's brain doesn't understand that. Yeah, no, that's insane, man. That's insane. And you're the protector. You got to understand how your kid views you. Mm -hmm. Like, you're their everything, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're the fucking, like a god to it's your like child. It's like the other fucking piece of shit. Imagine I don't know if mom. we talked about him last last episode or not, but like the piece of shit that fucking killed the whole family over the stimulus check. Oh, yeah. Like, there's certain that people shit. that fucking, they're just losing their shit, He came bro. to claim his kids He came to claim his kids' shit. stimulus checks. They said no or some shit. He yeah. shot his baby mom and killed the four kids. Yeah. Some shit. I think there was like a That's crazy. Or the like, I don't yeah. understand what time we're living in. Like, there's some things to be forgiven. But that type of My shit. My nigga, it's like, a fucking stimulus check that two weeks ago you didn't know you I'm were fucking about, getting. I'm talking about like when you like for, for like judgment day, like for God, like, you know what I mean? Bro, the Bible like, says that the love of crazy. money is the root of all evil. People turn and they say, oh, people say the money is the root of all evil. Dude, and it's not. No. The Bible clearly states the love of money. Because why did he kill him that? The money didn't make him evil, but the the, uh, the desperation for that money, the love, like, I fucking need that. I fucking need that money or you're going to fucking die. That's crazy. Man. That's crazy. You know that somebody can love money so much to see past, bro, I love you, but you got $100,000, I'm going to fucking kill you. That's my, I, that's my point, bro. The point, it blinds the you. The point I was trying to make was like, bro, like, a week ago, two weeks ago, you didn't know you were getting Yeah, straight up. So you killed your whole fucking family and shot your baby mom, nigga, because of some money that you didn't even know that you were getting shit. a week ago. That ain't shit yeah, either. It's That's really not a month worse. It's How much? Not, it, uh, Rat? Add up all four fucking kids' fucking stimmy check. That's my nigga. monthly that's, that's fucking worth your, bills. That's, that's worth your kid's life. Ten, ten bands. 
And nah, the consequences. You're a fucking piece of no, shit. Yeah, that's fucking shitty. Just you take the I'm L. Saying? Take like, the L, bro. Nigga. Take that the shit L. Don't even pay for bail, bro. Honestly, a real man that's on his grind and his hustle don't gotta fucking go over there and ask for a motherfucking no. thing. Yeah, he's he's a a bitch. You can ask for it because those are your kids too. But if she wanna be petty, cool. All bitch. right, back keep off. The, I don't need keep it. Keep the motherfucking yeah, keep money. It. You need it more than I do. Yeah, that says a lot about you. He was a bum. Yeah, nah, fuck that nigga. And fuck the other guy before him, guys. Fuck like, all of your pieces yeah, of real. shit. If you got a kid, like I said last time, take care of your fucking kids, take man. Take care of your children. It's you know your, it's your responsibility, <laughs> take man. Take care of your children, man. It's Chill. straight up, man. Don't cut a dick off, man. Booze <laughs> by it. Oh, and shout out to Boozy for beating cancer. Shout out yeah, to Boozy shout for out, that. Hey, nah, for you know, yeah, yeah, shout out to Boozy. Yeah. Yeah. Boozy, yeah. shout out to you, yeah. man. Shout out to Boozy. Boozy badass. No, shout don't say out Boozy. To Boozy. He hates when people say Boozy. Yeah, it's shout Boozy. out to Boozy, bro. <laughs> He's a fucking legend in the game, man. Cancer free, bro. Yeah, for real. That man needs to write Fuck a book. Cancer. He needs to make a movie, bro, because that nigga beat six murder <laughs> charges. Went to death row, came out, got rich again, bitch. Said fuck <laughs> you, be cancer. <laughs> yeah, he's, bro, he's fucking chilling, bro. You know, so like, shout out to Boosie for real. Yeah, That's shout out crazy. to Boosie. He did it all. But you know who else needs a round of applause? <laughs> this fucking guy stole his ex lover's fucking ring and went and proposed to his new chick. Boom. You know what I'm Man, he stole from his ex and effects. gave it to his next, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but it's a body pooper because the fucking cop showed up and arrested this fucking guy. <laughs> All right? No, no, I'm not. Yo, yo <laughs> bail that motherfucker out, bro. Yo, you start a GoFundMe, bro. We're going to do it. Yeah, yo, that's funny. Mad niggas, He's I know bold. for a fact. Yeah. Bro, that's crazy. Think about that. Yeah, usually, the, you know, like, my parents got divorced. So I don't know about you, bro. <laughs> but my parents got divorced and my dad was like, keep that shit. Keep everything. I don't need that I shit. Need that I'm that starting fresh. You know, and, then he, and then he hey, bought a hey, Filipino bro. wife. That's how you go. That's how you do it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But that wife's crazy. Line. That nigga's a fucking piece of shit. He fucking <laughs> stole. <laughs> That Yo. nigga stole a ring from his ex when and went and proposed to his next. That's a low light. Oh man, yeah. they got arrested for it. Yeah, that's fucking. How much is the ring worth? Did they say, they say? It was probably nah. It was probably. I mean, it had to be look. worth a pretty penny though yeah, for him yeah, to take that risk though. I mean, fuck it. I, it. I think it was more of the principal for this guy. You know, nah, what I mean? fuck the principal. If she, if you my ex now, and I paid for that yeah, ring at one point. That's my ring. He was found no on mistake. Friday. The ring was worth six thousand two hundred seventy dollars. Oh, that's not even worth. That's that not, doesn't pay yeah, for my. You're going to that fucking prison. That, that, that doesn't pay for your lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, she's right. So she won, bro. She got divorced and she brought you ass to fucking prison, bitch. But wow. it sucks. Oh, he's a real piece of shit. He has a tattoo on his left arm that says, only God could judge me. <laughs> uh, they had to mention that. They had to mention that. I'm going to assume that if God had to judge you, he, he's, he's gonna a, piece a piece they of shit. They had to mention that. That's yeah. crazy. That's fucked up. Yo, yo, yo that's yo, fucked yo, up. Yo, that dig, going to hell. They have to add some extra yeah, salt. Yeah, yeah, now, whenever you see uh, that tattoo in real life, you're going to be like, Mm. You're a piece of shit. Nah, you're not even the guy. Nah, now I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> Whoa, piece of Whoa. shit. Wow, that was Listen, no, no. I mean, that was aggressive. No, that was aggressive. No, that's nah, he's gonna get a cockney sandwich. I'm serious. He's gonna be in fucking Whoa, prison. Now you, saw, now you got my attention. That's crazy. Now you you, ever, see, you ever seen Harold and Kumar? If you haven't watched it, <laughs> now you probably think I'm weird. No, nah, no, you gotta watch it. Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar is that fucking shit. That shit was classic. Yeah, that was a funny movie. But yo, you know what I don't get, guys? I don't get how all these niggas get so much fucking bread. You know, they come up in life, have security, this and that, have millions of dollars, and they still get caught with fucking guns at an airport. I don't fucking understand it. I've never understood it. What Little the Wayne, fuck? fucking uh, Rich the Kid, Joel Santana, but Joel Santana hit it on them boys. That nigga mm-hmm. literally tried to run. He boofed it. He said, fuck you. You're going to no. have to catch me. I'm going to make you work for it. I don't understand how. <laughs> oh, That's, bless you. Oh, oh, wow. wow. That was so strong. Was- okay. <laughs> It's magical. He's so happy. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what, man. Ricky Bobby. Go get him, boys. Just kidding. You ever seen that movie? Tell the day of lights. Pero este, Ricky tiene, Bobby on este fire. Tiene, yes, este no idea. Yeah, yeah, we have, we're años. having a conversation about guns at the airport. People yeah, are fucking yeah. got sorry. I sneezed and I literally yeah, flashed. Fucking, yeah. He fucking lost all his memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, but I don't understand how people forget. Like, bro, you have a gun on you. I'll like, just you just forget forget the gun on you. <laughs> <laughs> The irony. You're the guy. You're the guy. So it might be me 
it might be me with a gun that goes in the fucking head. He's the guy that forgets he has a gun on him. Holy shit. I forgot what the fuck we were just talking about. What the fuck? I might forget to have a gun on me. I don't know. This. He was with us in the airport. Yo, I brought that <laughs> shit to the fucking in the backpack. In the backpack. Loaded. Be careful, Ricky. <coughs> I'm scared. But yeah, nah, bro. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, yeah, nah, I don't understand it, bro. Like, just give it to your security, or there's different. Like, or you were talking about security. earlier. Be your security. Yeah, let your security carry it. Or You're paying them enough money. Just go fucking check it in. Exactly. Check it in. There's a right way, guys, and a wrong way. It's like the immigration thing. There's they'll a right fucking way and a wrong take way. it from you. They'll put it on the bottom of the plane, and then when you get to where you're going, they'll give it back to you. Yeah, that's it. But so guess what? Know. If yeah, you're exactly. sneaking it, they're just gonna automatically assume that you're doing bad shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. facts. It's legal. It's already nah. Legal. It's illegal though. Like that's the that's it was a legal, legal gun. Or was it legal? I think okay. it was. Le- I think it was legal, but that okay. doesn't matter at that yeah, point. Okay. It's yeah. still a felony. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's still a felony oh, you charge. Get, you get a felony off regardless. Rip? Oh, nigga, that's you're trash. You're not supposed to have it. I didn't know gun that. Gun at an airport. Hell at no. all. Hell no. Period. You get caught with that shit and it gets serious. It doesn't matter if it's under your name, nigga. Why do you have it here? Yeah, that's true. It's not, you're not supposed to have it here. If you needed it that bad, you could have checked it in at the fucking front desk. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like like why are you hiding? Because yeah. these cop bro, trust. There's a lot of people that carry like they travel with guns. Yeah, Black a Rambo lot. does. Go, go, you go, <laughs> yeah, no, go check out Black Rambo on YouTube. Shout out to you, Black Rambo. Yeah, no, he's got ass. official guns, bro. That dude's got some sick yeah. ass guns. But he shows you. There's a video of him going into the airport. And he checks in his gun. Boom. He's like, "This how you do it." Boom. You get this tag. They're gonna give you the special tag. Yeah. This lock type shit that you put through your and you're on. Yeah, bro, you could travel with your weapons, man. You just got to be know smart about it. Every state. Know the law that where you're going. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. saying? Like, for example, if you travel to fucking California, no, you can't take magazines that have more than 10 rounds in. Just know your laws and every, you especially when you like, travel to New Jersey, New York. If you're oh, driving yeah, yeah. and going through those places. Nah, you shouldn't even take a gun. Nah, there, don't even do it. There's not like. Just know your laws in every yeah, state. Fair. If you're yeah, traveling and going through five states, know the laws in those five states. Yeah, because not every law is the fucking same. Yeah, exactly. facts. Yeah. Facts. Every county is even different. Like. In Florida, yeah. Florida gun permit is acknowledged by what? 30 something states? New York's not one of them, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's, you can, it's acknowledged by a lot of states. Yeah, a lot of there's states. There's a lot of states that don't give a fuck. Yeah. Man. Yep. Like New mm-hmm. York. Yeah, New York is one of those states where automatically five years, nigga. I they used don't to give live in New fuck. York. They don't Fuck care. New York. Oh, yeah, I'm like, just kidding. I love you guys in New York. Shout out to everybody yeah, that's there. My family. I take that back. Yeah. Thank you for that. You live your MVPs. I love yeah. you all. This shirt makes me look buff. <laughs> I feel buff in this shirt. Yo, my dog. Oh my god, he is buff. My oh, dog's wow. looking fucking swole over there. Like yeah, he just bro. ate a whole Yo, fucking. Vinny. Like he just ate a whole bass. I thought something. I was by Dwayne Johnson for a minute. Yo, <laughs> yesterday I was so fucking hangry. You guys ever been hangry to the point where like hangry, hangry, bro? You're hungry and you're bro. fucking. Oh angry. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hangry suffer from is... low blood sugar. I bro. get hangry yeah. every yeah. time. Bro, I you see my size? <laughs> That's I all I gotta I say. Like I see, I see my dog almost like passed out. <laughs> fucks with you. <laughs> I see my dog almost pass out. Bro, hey guys, listen. But yeah, I almost passed out a few times. It was one time I almost <laughs> overheated. Okay, that was another time though. Is the, the time he's talking about, we was fucking that Earth Day birthday man. And wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I was yeah. Earth Day. Yeah, birthday. It was, it's a concert. Yeah, it's a concert with like fucking thirteen rock bands. I don't know why I was there. Sounds, was, not, sounds I, like it. Yeah, I, I, listen. Continue. <laughs> Weed. That's all I gotta say. Weed. I went, <laughs> I bro. Weed. I almost fucking died. That's his guy. I passed out. I almost passed out. I had to drink like fourteen fucking smoothies. Oh, Each smoothie was like seven dollars. I had a fucking. I'm bro, the I spent, of a hospital that's bill. the reason. Bro, not facts. I mean, pretty much. I right. should have been in the hospital. So, <laughs> yo, that's the reason why he started working out. Where were yeah, you? nah, facts. Like I was fuck. Nah, he was there, but he just you left me like a piece of mouth shit. I fuck- <laughs> nah, I wanted to see three days grace, bro. Those are my. Nah, they left me. Nah, I'll be back. Check out my. I left. I left them. I left them because we walked into a place and there was like AC, right? <laughs> so I'm chilling, nigga. We're sitting yeah. down. I'm cooling now. And they're like, oh, we're going to fucking go back outside where it's 110 degrees and go watch fucking Three Days Grace or whatever the Classic. fuck. Yeah. I was like, yeah, shout out to y'all, but I didn't go see you. No. I fucking sat right in that goddamn AC and I watched some local ass band play. Some fucking yeah, and people were smoking blunts. In yeah, there. I was like. This is yeah, a fucking vibe, nigga. Like, it's AC. I'm, I'm a white one. Right? Okay. You're smoking. You know what I'm like, Yo, that's crazy. It sounds like I'm... It was dope. But yeah, I almost died, guys. Here. That's what made me start working out. You Shout know, I'm, out still, God. I'm yeah. still a fat piece of shit, but not as much of a fat piece of shit yeah. as I used to be. You know yeah, what me I mean? neither. He's kind of taking care of himself. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You know what I'm I saying? I used to be a fat piece of shit, too. I believe it. I see it. I see it right here. 
right here. It's he's talking about my sack. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That, was that one left sack. real fucking quick. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, enough, with that, on the, enough <laughs> with the elephantitis. Who's talking about this shit? Hey, you I told you. I have it. I told you. you let's, let's get into the bottom of this. It looks yeah. like to Shaq's big toe. <laughs> oh, wow. You ever seen that shit? Yo, Kevin Hart was making fun of that it's shit. It's got a That's bunion. Funny. That's, a, a bunion? That makes me want to throw it? up and not Shaq's fucking toe? talk about it. Yo, I have a bunion actually on my foot. Oh, your toe is a bunion. <laughs> your big toe is a one big fucking bunion. It's a mountain climber. <laughs> it's a cliff fucking a climber. A cliff climber. <laughs> it's a fucking cliff climber. That nigga just kicks his fucking toe into the side of a mountain and just starts Oof. walking up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, man. Mm. I was born with these feet. And I'm fucking happy. And you gonna die with those feet? Nah, I yeah. don't know. It's weird that like my feet look like they can go to war, but when it's time to go to war, and nah, I come... they're fucking soft as <laughs> dog shit. <laughs> This nigga walked through the woods for like five minutes, bro, and it looked like he had been homeless for two weeks. I swear yeah, to God. Yeah, I came back, looked like I went to Vietnam, bro. I was like, I was like, fucking. I remember Miguel, shout out Miguel. He was like, yo, the woods are nice on you, bro. I don't know. He yeah, said some yeah. shit. He said it in a nice way, yeah. but I was like, yo, your feet are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like you just took branches, straight branches well, I was getting, to your fucking toes. I, I was getting fucking beat up by mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, there, right? Because probably the grass in Norway is really soft. Um, is it? He's probably not used to, to that shit. You see what I'm saying? Very tender feet. I like that about a man. I like a man with tender feet. Yo, you know, hey, in Norway, in Norway, he's, star- he's starting the only fans for his fucking toes. Yeah, so for his toes, toes, toe picks only. Yo, ladies. In, Nor- <laughs> in Norway, bro, they have grass on the fucking roofs. So guess how they have grass like, on the roof? They got grass. On- <laughs> so when you mow the lawn and you're nah, fucking they got still goats. sleeping, nah, they got goats. Oh, that- so they don't even mow the lawn. Nah, the goats are on top of the oh, roof that's eating the grass, f- taking a shit on your fucking uh, roof. Nah, they don't. <laughs> that's amazing. Damn. <laughs> What? <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> what? Nah, I don't think they shit on there. They probably shit on my the nigga. Floor. If they're up there, do you know how much a goat? Oh, yeah, shit? yeah, yeah. A goat just fucking says, "I'm not yo, gonna fucking shit yo, up here." Yo, think about it. When you think about it, animals are really expensive. Like, think about how much of like a goat would Bruh. be. Like, just one goat. Yeah, nah. At, yeah, for real. Like a good goat. That's why. Shout out to y'all that fu- shout, farmers, shout out to shout y'all out that, to farmers. You know, your farmers. You got horses and cows and you. fucking all types of Cause shit. Because it's really yeah. not that shit's expensive, man. Yeah, I wouldn't have my feta. Your what? My feta. Your feta fat. cheese. Feta cheese. Yeah, yeah that's goat like, milk. I was like, I thought you were trying to say feather like a fucking Italian or something. Ooh. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you ever <laughs> seen Meet the Fockers? <laughs> Yo, you guys seen the movie Meet the Fockers? I yeah, did, but I don't remember it. With the fucking titty, when he has like a fake titty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he's like, he uses like breast milk, and the homie comes into the fucking fridge and just grabs it and drinks it, and it was breast milk, and he was like, Man, breast is milk is fucking- sweet. I'm not a fan of it. Oh, you've tried it? No. Nah. Of course I've tried it. I got five yeah, kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With my wife, my yeah. wife, you know, when she was pregnant. <coughs> We got like 30 seconds left. Yeah, well, 30 seconds is what we're better than uh, than my, breast milk. Shout out to you guys that came in and Love listened you, again. Welcome back. Sheesh. Thank you for watching again, man. It's been yours truly low key. John's over here. Yes, fucking sir. Jay's over here. And uh, yeah, man. Don't forget, go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. Yeah, yeah, tell somebody yeah. you'll love them. Yeah. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. I freestyled earlier, so I ain't going to do it uh, now. Fuck uh, you. Uh, uh, Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we out. Peace.